and the sight. Prepare for another all night. On the talk of Chicago, 1690 WVON. But I got to give credit to those guys on the court. Yeah. I, you have to. I mean, if you, you're blind or you're just retarded or stupid, if you can't see what they did yesterday, what they did in that series, despite almost blowing the 3-1 seriously, everything they did, that defense was outstanding. They out-hustled, out-everything. Them, the new um, and, and they, and the they, Brooklyn, Brooklyn Nets, Nets in that whole series. But it all comes down to that Bull team wants for fans to know they have not given up on winning. Even when Dang is in the hospital getting a spinal tap on Monday, you know, he's complications from the spinal and tap. And it gets complicated yeah. complications from it. He's back on Twitter letting people know, you know, if I could have been on the floor. But that's only because people was coming at him calling them all kind of words like No, yeah. I'm just saying, but right. there there's this there's now this affirmation they feel they need to give the fans that we have not given up on the season despite what you see from the outside. Mm-hmm. And all the question marks that have been rose, you know, rose jump came right out before I knew it. No. All, all, all the question marks that have arose because mm-hmm. of what seems to be a lack of dedication from a franchise player, everybody feels heavily scrutinized. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to say this. You may not like what Gar Pax has done, but you got to give them credit for keeping this team competitive in the face of a season that everyone thought, one, wouldn't win 30 games, oh, might not make the playoffs. If they do, they might be an AFC. Give credit where credit's due. I'm, I'm going to credit, credit. Not, I'm gonna credit it's not perfect. Right, it's, I'm not, go- it's not perfect by any means, Farouk, but they kept them I, competitive. I'm crediting coaching on because that roster with, say, a Flip Saunders or somebody like that or Mike Brown, they don't win 45, you 44, have to, Farouk, whatever you games they win. Be realistic. Won. You have to do both. You have to credit Paxson and, and, and Foreman for going out and filling that roster with players that Tibbs could actually coach. Because you can step back and look at this and say, Tibbs hasn't done the greatest coaching job this season. There's been some question marks across yes. the board. Yes, Even in his perfect. playoff series, how he's got he's got his big man shooting from the three. Um, excuse me, get in the post. Clear back. That's why they lost game six. Everything they did right in the three games that they won, they failed to do in game six. They gave up too many points in the paint. They did didn't get you know second chance points. They didn't rebound. Everything they did right, they stopped doing in Game Six. I can't, so you, I can't criticize Tibbs. Not after no, no, that no, game you don't. Seven. But I'm thing is, you absolutely have to give credit on both sides. You can't say, well, he he coached, but he gave him. Well, he gave him people that could get the job done. No, not necessarily because when looking at that roster and what we've talked about for the most part this year, we was looking at that roster and we didn't see a playoff team. With the exception of D. But that's my point. There was really not a that's playoff team ex- to be that's seen. Exactly that's why you the have to give credit. Comes in. That's why you have to give credit. Because you didn't see any vision of having any playoff contention based on the roster. I don't, I don't think I they think, saw it. I think I they think, were just filling spots. I, I really see, have zero faith you in just, that front you just, office.